Today we're gonna go through some new Blender tutorials. They range from modeling tutorials, rigging, animation, effects, and more. Let me talk about Cohome, our sponsor for today's video. It is a fantastic tool with a ton of free features, especially for interior designers, architects, house owners, to easily bring their designs and ideas to life using templates and tools that Cohome provides. This tool helps you create floor plans, 3D decorations, and it gives you the ability to render your projects and create fantastic photos in just few minutes. This is the case due to its versatility and the huge list of assets that can help you create any project with ease. And although Cohome has a desktop app, it is cloud-based, so you will have all you need to start creating your designs in your browser. And I can't emphasize how easy it is to work with this software. It offers different subscription plans. The basic license is free with floor planner, unlimited standard quality settings, 30,000 plus free 3D models, email support, video training library, and photorealistic rendering such as the ones you see on the screen. Cohome has an intuitive interface. It allows you to easily switch between front, top, and panorama view, also precisely place doors, windows, furniture, and render your projects in up to 4K resolution. Another great feature is the 720 Tour, which allows you to showcase your design with immersive experiences and high realism in real time. If you want to learn more about Cohome and you want to try it for free, you can follow the link in the description below. Alright, we're gonna kick off this list with this cloth simulation from Kaizen Tutorials this time creating cloth objects without the need to use the cloth modifier and how to use the cloth filter tool to achieve extremely realistic cloth details. Using different techniques such as face sets, in addition to masking, you can easily achieve some intricate details that would be extremely difficult to sculpt. So rather than painstakingly sculpt all the details, you can just let Blender accurately inflate, deflate, pinch, expand, or use the force of gravity to simulate real cloth. From simulation to animation, now we're gonna see how to rig and animate a piece of clothing like a skirt on your character by Peric Peacock. This is an extremely helpful tutorial that goes through the process of rigging a dress or a skirt in Blender, and you're gonna do that using hand keyed animation. The method that Peric uses requires no simulation or baking. It is really flexible and not that complicated. The setup is to make a specific rig that goes around the whole mesh so that you will be able to deform it and in the center of it all is controlled by a couple of bone controllers but the order and the setup of the rig and bones has to be in specific order so that you can get a good result without getting all the glitches and errors. Talking about simulations and effects, Brad from Light Architect uploaded a tutorial on how to create an advanced destruction effect in Blender using a combination of frigid bodies and constraints featuring the Kaios add-on, which just makes the process a lot more easier. The process starts by dividing your buildings into different collections, like supporting beams, roof, ceiling, walls, etc. Then consecutively breaking each one of them while adding constraints and rigid body properties to each one of them one by one. Alright, from breaking stuff to building stuff, Martin from CG Boost uploaded a video tutorial on how to create this tiny landscape or cityscape shot in Blender. This is basically a breakdown of his latest environment from this course called Master 3D Environments in Blender. The essence in this tutorial is the use of geometry nodes to create first the terrain and scatter various objects throughout the scene. You will start by looking for some references, creating the terrains, and using geocodes to scatter grass and rocks and different scene elements. You will see how to add a sky, how to animate it, and how to grab building models from Google Maps. And as I mentioned before, CG Boost has a course all about creating various environments in Blender, so you can check that out if you are interested. Sean Killian also made a quick tutorial on how to create a futuristic dystopian city using very simple techniques and tricks. It is a rich 5-minute tutorial packed with tips that would shrink down the time it takes to finish such project. He initially presented an efficient pipeline that most artists would follow. This is to use primitive shapes to block out the entire structure, then use textures as the middle ground if possible, and finally add the necessary details using a very interesting free software called JS Placement. You will also learn about a fast trick for making glowing windows, 
then filling up the base of the scene with less detailed shacks. In addition to the use of quick mega scans for further detailing and lastly important in the background images of structures. Next up we have a tutorial that takes us through a short and straight to the point process of creating a magical fire sphere. And the most impressive feat showcased in this tutorial is that Simon used nothing but shader nodes which goes to show us how simple material nodes can be quite impactful to the point of emulating volumetric effects and special animations. You'll be using a nose texture, vector math nodes and color ramps to gradually mask out the fire edges and altering the glass shader for a proper frontal effect. In this 20 minute tutorial, Philip on YouTube explains his workflow on how to produce a better glass shader than the default one you can find in Blender. This one not only is physically accurate, but also has no glitches or black spots. It renders with a lot less noise and all around just looks a lot better. Instead of using default glass shader, you will try and build the glass shader from the ground up by first mixing a refraction and a glossy shader and factoring them using a Fresnel node. The refraction is achieved by separating the RGB channels in the refraction shader and combining them using the add shader node. Also other stuff to enhance the look of the glass. The video is well paced and everything is explained really well. Now we jump to creating water simulations by creating a stormy ocean from the Blender Made Easy channel. In this video, you'll be creating a stormy ocean effect with realistic materials and camera movements that go beneath the surface of the water in addition to the look when you submerge under the water. First, you will start by creating the ocean using the ocean modifier, then creating the volume underneath the rainy weather using particle effects and finishing off by creating materials for all the elements in the scene. Now, if you're looking to enhance your cinematography skills, then this tutorial is gonna be for you, as Chris Bailey takes you through a tutorial covering the overall layout by roughing out the poses and the characters and the art of animating cameras by thinking about the best way to capture the motion while keeping in mind key principles, some of which are knowing where the audience is looking and focusing, using a variety of lens sizes, camera movements across cuts, and character screen direction. Last but not least, this is a tutorial on how to grab Google Map 3D cities, in addition to buildings and terrains, and import them into Blender. You can then use these models as props, terrains, or backgrounds. Freedom Art on YouTube uploaded this step-by-step -step guide on how to use a tool called Google Map 3D Grabber, which uses a browser data to extract 3D data. This can be also extremely helpful if you just need to understand the proportion of some of the buildings and, as we mentioned before, it can be very helpful if you need a distant city that is in the background and not really close to the camera. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.